dollar, 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 dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back, baby. We got a new Jolly Burger. You gonna spit it out? I know. I mean, a Jolly video. <laughs> no, I'm, no. What is the candy I'm or gum? Put it over it like a little chipmunk. What's it, candy or gum? It's a gummy. Yeah. But a new uh, Jolly Burger, come on. Today, new Jolly video. Mm -hmm. The best burger in the world, mm -hmm. literally. I don't know. What's the best style burger you like? You like a good, like... I like a good smash hand, burger. I'm saying, dude, I'm, I'm trying oh. to do variations. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, go ahead. Fast food burger, which is typically like a McDonald, Burger King, Wendy style burger. Do you like the smash burger styles? Shay Shack, Culver's, Freddy's, which I know you never had a Freddy's. Mm -hmm. uh, or do you like a good hand padded, like barbecue style burger? I like a good hand padded like homemade burger. Homemade, okay. Yeah. I oh well, I say homemade or off the grill. Those that's different. A good hand padded homemade burger on the skillet, but the grills is different because you get that smoky essence of it. Some people like the smoky essence. I just like a good home homemade a buff padded homemade burger, whether it's on the stove top or grill. Okay, okay. But if I'm like doing restaurant style, I like a good smash burger. A little smash. Because I, I, I think But you can make smash burgers at home as well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, like, I like the... I do like the essence of the hand padded joints, that little thickness mm -hmm. to it that I don't prefer that from a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like, if a restaurant burger is, is thick, I don't think it's good. You don't like it. I don't like you it, You don't bro. prefer that. Nah. Yeah. But I do like a smash burger. See... Has finally said, well, you have to try one more. Mm -hmm. You have to try Freddy's before you can officially say, which Smash Burger is your favorite? Because mm -hmm. you just had another one the other day. You was like, dang. I... But yeah, we'll try Freddy's soon so you can be able to judge. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, my allergies. <laughs> But hey, with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you got to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Lock it in with a thumbs up. Also, let us know how y'all, what type of style style of burger would y'all like and prefer? Prefer. 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 Is it prefer or pre prefer? Prefer. Well, I'm a little country, so I don't know. <laughs> mm, prefer. Pre prefer. But, all right, let's prefer. go. Prefer. Let's check no. it out. <laughs> Let's see what's about. You ready, C? I thought y'all know I speak English. Y'all get y'all ready. You, don't, you only know you bunny, so. I know what I know. <laughs> Best burger in the world. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Bonds very much so. It Matter. hand, matters yes, a lot. It's very important. Bonds are very, very. Don't give me no dry ass bond. Mm -hmm. Don't give me no cheap dry bars. It's perfect. <laughs> Got up at 5 a.m., flew to Valencia, Spain, just for Damn. one thing. I mean, it looks perfect. I think mean, this is honestly what heaven is going to taste like. Wow. Is it the best burger you've had? I mean, as of 2024, they have been crowned the best burger. Not in Europe, not in Spain, Sick. in the whole world. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Welcome, oh, welcome, I'm welcome. So excited about this. <laughs> we are in this, a temple to burgers. So oh. let's start here. My. Two singulars or singulars. Okay. Medium rare. Oh. We make the buns from scratch ourselves, and the beef is dry aged for 60 days normally. This one is our best seller, and also my favorite one. Really? So we better like it. The singular. <laughs> if you don't like this one, I don't know about the rest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the, the burger that has made us number one in the world's best burgers list, so wow. hopefully you like it. So this is one in wow. a billion burger. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is a very special burger. Oh my gosh. Enjoy, guys. Thanks, Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, it looks 
perfect. This right. is the number one burger in the world. 60 day. The bacon looked like it got a little cracked pepper on it too. It looks good. And I ain't gonna lie, I prefer my bacon to look like this than on them limp ass pieces of bacon we began. Them joints be looking out. <laughs> that motherfucker look. Salute! The bacon we begin to be like, come on, bro. Come on. Not we, but you. Stop it. I don't eat bacon on my burger. You even you eat turkey bacon. Hey, I just got put on beef bacon. I can go rest of my life with beef bacon. I don't need to have pork bacon. I wish restaurants would offer. You ain't put me on nothing. Yes, you didn't even try it. But I, it was my bacon, and I had to. And no, I you, cooked it for no, you. No, we was like. I thought we saw it, and I was like, get the beef bacon. I made bacon. it for you. I had bought it because I wanted to try it, but then I was like. That doesn't mean you put me on anything. I've had beef bacon. You haven't. So how is that putting me on Okay, anything? come on, babe. Come on now. I've been known about beef come bacon. I just didn't know where okay, to get baby, it. come on. We had some. I was like, yeah, let me try the beef bacon. Okay, baby. She never even tried it before to even say whether it's good or not. So how can you someone say they put you on anything and they, even, they don't even I know what it tastes <laughs> like? That's not putting someone on to nothing. Okay, baby. Like, like shout out to the lady that said she just ordered some cheer wine. I got to respond to your comment. But... That'll be different if she liked Chihuahua. She'd be like, kid, and she put me on Chihuahua. Okay. A dry aged beef, crispy bacon, that cheese. Bacon Ollie, crispy. I can't wait any longer. Let's do it. Oh, the bun. Oh. Ollie. Oh, it's oh. so soft. Best burger in the world. Oh my gosh. Slough. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Do is you it like one it when patty it, or is it multiple? He patty? said a single. I oh, did say single. Do you like it when it's got a lot of juice? I don't think you do. Well, that looks like sauce, and I don't mind sauce. I don't mind juice either. I don't want nothing dry. His look like sauce, but his just look like juice. Mm. His look saucy though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> this is honestly what heaven is going to taste like. Wow. What's insane is how simple it is. It's literally oh. bread, beef, cheese, and bacon. One patty. Unbelievable. You ain't eating that. He already said it was. He said it was medium uh, rare. W rare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, see, won't eat that, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. This guy you way. Why are you talking about me? Talk about yourself. Cause you most definitely be like, and I'll be like, yo, this got too much pink. Some people like that, but and I understand like that's that's, that's a not. big thing when it comes down to steak and stuff. But burger, cook my shit where I don't see no pink. I don't want to see the pink. Well, with your burger. With a burger, I don't want to see the pink. Yeah. I don't. With your mind, mind of steak. I don't even. I don't eat steak. Well, you don't eat steak. So. Yeah. And I don't even know how to so order weird, steak. I don't even know how to order steak. I'd be like, "Oh, you good steak." But no, I don't. I don't want to see this. This, mm -hmm. this is just this screams so wrong to me. Probably <laughs> simple, and yet the beef is the beefiest, Ew. juiciest. I mean, a dr sixty day dry aged patty is insane. Mm. It's cooked to perfection. Mm. It is the softest beef patty you'll ever had. Oh. It's fatty and bursting with flavor and yet not at all greasy feeling. Oh. The cheese is perfect. There is, this is like onion relish in there. The bacon is like the crispiest, most beautiful hotel good. buffet yeah. bacon. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're staying in a really fancy, the kind of hotels you stay in. It's, Don't relate this to hotel it's, buffet it's like, food. It's like Four Seasons buffet bacon. It's not hotel buffet mm. bacon. This is genuinely burger perfection. Is it the best burger you've had? I mean, I honestly don't understand how it could be better. Oh, yeah. I think so I know why they named it 100 burgers. Oh, yeah. They asked a seven year old to rate it out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I didn't mention? Caramelized onions that just add this beautiful touch of sweetness to it. It is simultaneously ridiculously fancy and like high quality ingredients, mm. like a Michelin star sort of restaurant dish. And yet also, it's a bit dirty. Alex. How is it? What? 
on earth have you done to that? <laughs> like, this is a work of art. Like, I want to frame it and like, put it on the wall. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. How does it taste this good? That's because of the dry aging and also because we make everything daily. So we grind the beef this morning oh. and then we make every burger by hand. So oh, it's wow, okay. quite an artisan process. We yeah. take a lot of care about the texture right. because we don't like patties to be too, um, you know, chewy or... Yeah. yeah, it just goes straight through. Yeah. It's like a marshmallow. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also with the bun, same idea as well we want this airy fluffy texture the bun is incredible i mean it's, it's is it brioche it's not a like a full brioche because it should have more sugar and more uh, right. butter to be right. a brioche but okay. it's called a demi brioche with demi brioche okay yeah, brioche. that's what the friends call when you use okay. And Loki looks in, somewhere in between brioche and potato. Oh, potato. Mm -hmm. It looks like very much so in between those two. Yeah. Half butter and half uh, sugar in a brioche bun. And you, you like, do you make your own buns? Yeah, we did it. We, we were one one year and a half learning to make buns. We didn't know how to make buns. Wow. Before we opened the first restaurant. Yeah. Oh we my God. finished in our jobs. We yeah. went at maybe seven or eight in the evening to a little kitchen that we had. Really? And we started making tryouts. Wow. Yeah. It takes humans a year and a half to learn to walk. And you just, okay. you just dedicated, <laughs> it to, dedicated to learning how to make because, demi brioche. Yes. Bravo. Bra yeah, I mean, I, that's yeah. a greasy round of applause. <laughs> Very greasy, but it, wow. Nice. We've eaten at some of the best restaurants in the world. I want this again. Oh, I would take that over the majority of Michelin starred meals I've had in my yeah. life. Yeah, 100%. The camera does not convey how much just mm. beautiful flavor is oozing mm. out of this. I should say before- I would say, you know some good, not by the way Josh talks about it, but the way Ali eats it. <laughs> you know, that's how you know if it's good or not. Yeah. Before you finish that, we have three more burgers coming. Oh, I thought we had 99. This is the... <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. You're geared yeah, up. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. geared up, ready to go. I'll eat 100 of these. <laughs> even even if it kills me. Genuinely. If it kills me. <laughs> We're going to try three more. Each one yeah, very like distinctly different from their menu. The climax of which oh. is a 120 day dry aged burger. Okay, we're getting risky Apparently, there. Apparently, it is one of the most intensely flavored burgers you can imagine. That's going to be the finale. 120 days. That's four months. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. For now, I feel like we need to share this love a little bit. Mate, this is going to blow your mind. It's barely any left. Yeah. Yeah. I now understand why you guys are silent. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to describe how that is probably the best burger I've ever had. Everything is perfect. The patty, the bacon, the cheese. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm the cynic amongst us. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a lot of hyperbole that goes around when it comes to the best in the world. And burgers is something, you know, there's probably half a billion burgers. Look like like pool like some type of pool pork on a fry, mm -hmm. but I could be wrong. Yeah. Burgers served. I like a good loaded fry. Definitely. I was very skeptical. Yeah. That this would live up to the hype. Oh my gosh, so good. This pool pork is incredible. Okay, okay. What on earth? It's so smoky. I knew you were gonna like these ones. Wow, so what? good. When we go trying burgers in the UK, we normally see these yeah. kinds of sides that always have fries and yeah, yeah. lots of things on top, like loaded fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you you. You can tell like the that British lot. influence because it looks disgusting. Okay. But it, 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 <laughs> when it tastes, it tastes lovely. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, it tastes incredible. <laughs> What did it feel like when you got the news that you had been crowned the best burger in the world? It justified everything that we have done for the project. The mission of the company is to make and sell the best burger of the world at the best price possible. So we've been through a lot and when we got the news it was like, okay, everything has, has, you has been worth it, you know. Yeah. Before you opened the restaurant, I heard you, you traveled the world like trying different burgers. We started the first restaurant in order to make tribute to every place that had okay. inspired us. So that Satisfaction Burger to make tribute to it. So I guess one of the best burgers you had it was in Northern Arkansas. I can't, this looks like Northern Georgia, but I was also on the Tennessee line. Mm -hmm. By the, what's that, the Chattahoochee? Chattahoochee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> know about the Chattahoochee River? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, right outside of Miami. Hella places in California. That is a lot. Cause this is this is one right here as well. But it's boom, 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 boom. I do hear New York does have a good burger. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Chicago, they say Chicago has a lot of great food. Uh, Boston, I kind of want to throw it with the accent. Oh. North of Boston, and we got DC, the DC area, the DMV. Okay, that's a good places. What the one that surprises me the most is Arkansas. Arkansas surprises the fuck out of me. That's crazy. Is that not? Is that, is that just me? I guess it's just you. Like I don't, I don't think of, I don't think a good food place when I think of Arkansas. What do you think of Arkansas when you think? I do don't. You think of? I don't really think of Arkansas. <laughs> like no disrespect. No disrespect. <laughs> I don't really think about Arkansas because I don't really I don't have anyone in Arkansas. I don't have any family in Arkansas. I do. Like I don't think my uncle said about do I no I don't have any people in Arkansas. He said West Memphis so, so he can be on a you know yeah so I mean I don't really think about it. I'm, I'm only thing I think about when you when somebody said Arkansas, the first thing I think about is Little Rock, and I think of Hot Springs. Well, okay, like the, like you think about that, like but that's the only that's the only thing I think. I'm about. not thinking about it. But like, if food places, Chicago made sense. Uh, California, okay, eh, yeah. it made sense to a degree. Yeah. I heard good things and bad things. Georgia, mm, Atlanta lately been getting a lot of flat, but we ain't even in Atlanta. We on the Chattahoochee River. Area, and you know what, Tennessee. I never think about a good burger when I think about Tennessee too, though. Mm. Like unless it's a homemade burger, but they ain't going to somebody's house and eating a burger. You, you know what I'm saying? Think about. I wonder, like, where exactly? Like, like we just said, the places that we like that has good burgers are are not from here. Like you like Shay Shack, you like uh, Culver's. Corvus is Wisconsin based. Shay Shack is New York based. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, what what's a good burger spot? Out that's like local. You know what I'm I saying? I wonder where he went into here in Tennessee. If he even went to Tennessee. Oh well, if he even went to Tennessee, what is what is this like places he went? I, he said like they they went they kind of travel. It tastes yeah. like other oh okay. Every place that had okay. inspired us. So Satisfaction Burger is called like that yeah. because when we went to London, we went to a Rolling Stones concert. That day we tried Burger and Beyond and Satisfaction has a very similar layering to Burger and Beyond Butter Burger. Okay. But I mean, that song says, I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's a prophecy about how companies <laughs> okay. uh, work afterwards. <laughs> Ready for round two? Oh, All right, my so. wow. Satisfaction Gosh. Burger coming in. <laughs> in the UK, we can't get no satisfaction, whereas here, it's satisfaction. <laughs> what on earth? Look at it's that. It's beautiful. This is genuinely, I just want to take pictures of everything. I don't actually want to eat it. Oh, I do want to eat it. I do want to eat it. It feels oh, rude petty. to eat this. Maybe it stands for a hundred times your recommended calorific <laughs> intake. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. You won't be able to eat that. Because I think it would just be too much for you. You had a double smash from covers the other day. I said, ooh, that's a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I don't eat, like... Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, honestly, like, that, those are two hand-padded burgers. I only... With hand-padded, just give me a single. Yeah. Smash, you can do two. I feel like I forced that down. You can do two with a smash style. But hand-padded... Not for me. I just need one. I'm good. You're a lady. Be ladylike. <laughs> I'm a lady. Mm. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> the Rolling Stones would never have had to write that song if they just had this. It would have been like, I just had some satisfaction. Yeah. But that's, yeah. it hasn't got the same ring to it. I also increased my risk of coronary mm. heart disease. Mm. Oh, that's God. like the bridge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Bits of cheesy patty just falling off the side. You know the ratio of like a beef wellington? Oh, yeah. Well, it's just like That's a token so amount of pastry. No, and then it's basically a torpedo of beef. Think, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a torpedo. It's similar. A giant torpedo. I think normally 
when we have these double burgers with the cheese and bacon like this, it's normally like a smash patty or it's a very thin layer of, of beef. Yeah. The last burger was so beefy, but it was kind of perfect. You've taken the ratio here, and I think we up to the beef to a level where I'm like, I don't even know what to do with the amount of beef in this burger. I must say, I oh, prefer beef. the first one. It feels more balanced. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It feels less unhinged. Mm -hmm. You know, I would feel comfortable having a late night conversation at a bus stop with the first one. But this one, I'd maybe have 999 on speed dial in my pocket just wow. in case. Wow, because it's crazy. It's got a wild look in its eye, is what <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm saying. <laughs> Luke. There's a kind of sauce in there. Yeah, yeah, is it yeah. like sauce a burger is sauce? sauce is different. I don't know what it is. Homemade, surely. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. Luke is stuck. Yeah. I don't think that burger's going to be attacking Luke. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. You may, Luke, bite. stop to breathe. Any, any stop any to more breathe. More. You, <laughs> no need, he says. <laughs> no need. What do you think? Oh, yeah. See, yeah. Well, the first one was just perfectly yeah. balanced. This is definitely it was perfect. Top two burgers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably second place. Yeah. It's so oh. good. Are you sure we bought return plates? Yeah. <laughs> I think I missed the caramelized onions from the last yeah. one. The first one, that the caramelized really onion, nice. and just the balance. The balance was perfect. I think that is the best burger that we have. Okay. And I also think that that is the best burger in the planet. So yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it was genuinely. <laughs> this is insane. Like they make fun of me for saying this is the best. This is the best. You know, in videos too much. But that first burger was the best burger. Maybe we should have started with a different one. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Nachos. Why not? Okay. As a side. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Nachos as a size, and it's enough for me. It just feels like it's doing too much. What you want to just like? Just, I, I'm, I'm a sucker. I'm gonna be bumping and grinding, <laughs> <laughs> grinding your gears over there. But I, I, I really feel the best compliment to a burger is fries, and a nice, nice salted fry. I, honestly, I personally like don't need Cajun fries. Cajun fries are good. Don't get it twisted. You don't need Cajun fries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like fries. I like a good onion ring, though. But I like mm, fries. I feel you. That's even why I like with Culver's. I do like Culver's fries. I feel like their fry complements their burger very well. Mm. Uh, it's very hard to like go to a restaurant and they fry complement the burger very well. Like Shay Shack, I feel like I really don't like they fry unless I get the cheese and stuff added to it. Mm. But I do like their fries. Like when I when it's loaded, they got a good burger. Five Guys, I do. I always go get the uh, the Cajun fries from Five Guys. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you don't need a Cajun fry. I'm just like Cajun fries, is just some good. I like a good like out of crisp, like out of crisp, soft, soft center mm -hmm. that's lightly salted, just enough where it's not too much salt, but just a complimentary. The best burger that I've ever had besides like homemade burger, mm -hmm. like was this, I guess you, a corner store. Uh, like, a corner like a store. local, like. Yeah, uh, it was like locally owned. Yeah. Like you knew, I knew the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude, mom those was do, my, but those my aunt's do be, best uh, friend. Yeah, so those, those be those best were, burgers though. Growing up, we used to go all the time. Yeah. Like, we used to have to sneak up there because it was on the crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but we, those be the best burgers though. <laughs> yeah. Like, Cause, I, cause I've been a sucker. I've been like low key craving, like a good homemade style mm -hmm. burger. I've been craving it for for years. Yeah. Just haven't had it because even when we go back home, it's typically holidays, and you get holiday food. You're not getting like somebody making you a fresh, just straight hand padded. You can make your own. It's different than with somebody. Else. Like my mom, I'm like I go off to the memory of my mom. I never made my burgers like. The way I grew up. Oh, okay. Like, it's something about, like, a mother's touch with a burger that's different than you doing it yourself. Mm. In, these guys' love for food really shines through. Everything they're serving here, so, like, you can taste the passion mm. they have. A lot of burger players, you get the sides out and it'll be all full, and you'll be like, eh, it's just a side. Super average. You, you can give them that. It doesn't matter. Because the main event is the burger. You're so right. That doesn't need to be that it good. It doesn't. Honestly, I go to any barbecue place anywhere in the world, you serve me that, I'd be so happy. Yeah. That is incredible. Josh, we have to convince him 
to open a branch in London. Do you imagine how long the queues would be? Oh, okay, wow. so third round coming. Okay. The loser. The loser. Yeah, the loser burger. Oh, poor so, guy. The funny story about this name. Is it the we... worst burger in the world? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we went to a local contest here with this burger. Okay. And we finished up fourth. Oh. So as a funny reminder of yeah. what happened there, okay. it's called the Looster's, but it's a really, really good burger. It smells incredible. It's so thick. What type of beef are you using to make it this beefy? It's always the same uh, beef in every burger. It's called Baca Rubia Gallega. It's from Galicia in Spain. And the dairy cows yeah. from that province are super famous for steak. Those ones, yeah. So you're getting to use like one of the best cows. Uh, for steak in the world. For burgers. For burgers. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Thank Don't you. let it become cold. Thank you so much. The loser. I love an underdog. This is like a barbecue spot. Because mm. everything wow. they have Different. is also barbecue. It's sweet. Oh my gosh. Little bit of heat. Not much though. Those caramelized onions. Yeah. So I missed good. them last time. Sweet, spicy, salty, umami. Everything is perfect. That perfect bite. They've just got this down to perfection. It's, it is an art. I feel like there's like gochujang in this sauce. Like it's, it's like slightly spicy, sweet. Can we just have a moment silence for the idiot that gave that fourth place? R.I.P. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number two. I like, yeah, I like that almost as much as first. Maybe number one. I, I'd say that's tied for number one for me. Luke just gave me the biggest shock face. <laughs> Luke is so skeptical, mate. Try that. Try it. No, he wants some. He wants some. <laughs> but the flavor, it's exploded. Oh, honey doesn't do it justice. Yeah, I, the first one's still. Okay, he was your number one. A few days ago, you said anything that's not Korean that's got you doing is usually terrible. <laughs> wow. Like, <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. He has outed me. He has. He has. He's not wrong. Both you and the judge He's not of that wrong. competition are He's embarrassed. Normally when you find gochujang in random recipes in the UK, yeah, it's, it's a, so gratuitous. It's a red flag, I would say. That flavor balanced perfectly. You can still have a bite, even though you outed me. <laughs> even though you outed me. So this is Ezekiel. He's my business partner. He's the, old, the other half of 100. You guys. So, normally when people put gochujang, yeah. In food in the UK, it's used like out of context. It's yeah. not like <laughs> for integration. Then, yeah. so. Normally in a burger, it's not that good, hmm. but this is incredible. Nice. Well nice. done. Do some people they buy this like take away? Yeah. Take yeah. it home? Yeah. Like if I buy it here, you think I can take it to London? And it's okay. <laughs> some people have brought it to to <laughs> Italy, Slovenia. Really? Yes. Wow. Someone brought it to Colombia as well, I think. Or Colombia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. I think that's too much. But I mean, yeah. how about you guys open a branch in London? Too difficult. Yeah. Too yeah. difficult. Why? Because of the because of the beef, the characteristics from, from of the of the yeah. Bring cows. <laughs> you bring the cows. Yeah. 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 Them. So that's probably the reason why, like, when it comes down to people being able to branch off and like, because they're still in Europe, but I guess the UK regulations are so strict with the food. Yeah. And that's the reason why, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I say this, majority of people, Jolly is not just the only people we have watched eat other things outside of the UK, but typically people say every a lot of food outside of the UK c comes packed with more flavor mm -hmm. than in the UK. And I wonder why, you know? Mm -hmm. You understand this type of product? Because, All you know, yeah. uh, we, we travel around the world eating yeah. burgers and we see there's a lot of smash burgers in England. Yeah, it's very and popular. Everybody like, well done, meat. And we think that's not the real way to taste the best burger of the world, yeah, you know? Yeah. You need to have some Thinking the inside, yeah. you need yeah. to have that fat patty. You're saying we don't have mature enough palate. That's a question. Yeah. Yeah. We got, well, it doesn't matter because we'll be there every day and we'll just. <laughs> it's just not the palate, it's the gut too. Your gut, if you're not used to eating like raw meat, your gut will re some possibly reject it, you know? Yeah. Because that's the, that's the thing people fail to realize like, if my stomach is just not used to it, I don't want the after pain. And sometimes the after pain is just not worth it. I don't care if you feel that's the best way. Something. Like, y'all should have well done options. <laughs> I mean, I want y'all. Well, you probably don't, could request. You but... don't know because he just said he doesn't believe that's the best way to eat the burger. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't like if that's the case. I'm not trying. To... <laughs> Nothing. 
Perfect, perfect. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So he was just talking about how I was like, oh, could you open a branch in the UK? And he's like, you wouldn't appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, well, like smash patties yeah. and well done meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you were like, oh, you're saying British people wouldn't appreciate it. And he's like, well, it's that's a question. question. That it's is a question. question. That's what I'm asking yeah. you. I'm yeah. asking you. This is the Bullfinch burger. Wow. Goldfinch. Bullfinch, oh. like the character of American Pie. Okay, yeah, yeah, Paul Finch. This burger is quite different from the rest. This one is not 60 days dry aged, right? it's 100 days dry aged. And the beef only comes from chuleta, which should, would be ribeye. Wow. So the beefiness of it, it's another level compared to the others. It's more extreme. More extreme? Yeah, so... I would say already the other burgers we had was like the most extreme burger I've ever had. Yeah. We don't recommend this burger for the first time someone comes. Okay. Do you recommend it after three other burgers? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this jamón? That's cecina. It's like jamón, okay. but from the cow. So it's that, pure. That's beef. That's why you, by the way. I didn't explain that. <laughs> you didn't explain that. That's you just casually have a little bit of wagyu on the side. Cured wagyu. We only make 10 units a day because we don't have enough ingredients to make more. 10? Yeah, because the cecina is yeah. a personal selection of the owner of the company that makes the cecina. That's 170 euros per kilo, the price. That's wow. why we don't put too much on you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this one I'll cut it because you're gonna share it. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much. He won't bring it to him, It's all, baby. This burger actually probably one of the most expensive burgers yeah, they got. Yeah. The beef is aged, the, the ingredients are expensive. Yeah. It's just high too, quality. Yeah, high quality burger. So much. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. Look how rich oh. that looks. It feels like it's more Smell olive. Oh, you smell that. Oh my gosh. It might be Holy moly. Oh my, oh my gosh. That's like a freight train to the pallet. You know that seven year old that gave that first burger 100 out of 10? Mm. Oh, yeah. The first time they ever see a Picasso painting. Yeah. And they're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> the seven year old in me wants to give this one out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal, mate. It's amazing, but honestly, it's way too much for me. Incredibly way, way rich. Much. I've never tasted anything like that. Huh. I wonder what the flavors are like. like it's probably it very like... intense flavor. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I can tell it's intense from his It's probably one of them joints where you gotta be a little bougie to appreciate it. You know, some foods you have to be bougie to appreciate it. You have to have a little more exquisite. A mature palate. Huh? A little bit more of a mature palate. No, bougie. Okay. You, I can have a mature palate, but I ain't bougie to eat on a, on a, on a hot dog. <laughs> like that in my life, like, it's very, very hard to describe what that tastes like. This is why in fine dining restaurants, they serve you a tiny, tiny little yeah. thing in the middle of the plate because it's so flavorful. Yeah. You actually couldn't have too much of it. It would make yeah. you feel unwell. It is so intense. Oh, you couldn't eat a whole one of these. Sorry, uh, did you see it's it? It's trees. Oh, it, no. it tastes nothing like... This is going to blow your mind. Put burgers outside of your brain, yeah, okay? Yeah, it's, it's almost not a burger. It's like, like, don't consider it a burger. It looks like a burger. It looks like a burger. It doesn't taste like It smells like a burger. Wow, that's a big bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see why they say don't have it on your first time. Definitely yeah, not. Enough. You have to build up to that. I feel like that's like when a Taylor Swift fan listens to jazz for the first time. You know? <laughs> it's, it's bewildering and maybe a little off-putting. I keep Do it taste that like more. Oh. Yeah, that's where you and me are different. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you like the, oh. the, the extreme one? It is, it is extreme. It is extreme. Yeah, it is extreme. It is extreme. yeah the final boss. Yeah. That's it. It's the yeah, final it burger is. boss. You're right. I think it killed me, actually. <laughs> your final boss. <laughs> yeah. You go, yeah. You're game over. Yeah. You're game over. It's like a fine dining thing. Yeah. But like you could it. have it in a tiny, tiny thing. Then maybe yeah, you yeah, could yeah. make more than 10, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
So this is the borchito, oh. tiny brioche. Okay. Because you know, it's six pieces. Each piece has <laughs> one kinder chocolate inside. My recommendation, just with your hand. Hand. Oh. Grab one, this one. one piece, yeah. Pull apart. Will you share one with us? Yeah. 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 It's congrats Ooh. on having the best burger in Thank the world. Thank you guys. Cheers, Thanks guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all, all inside. Oh. Everything, everything. Look at that. that. Look at that. It's like a what chocolate donut. That? Yeah. Guys, well done. Thank you. Well Thank you, guys. Done. Sign up for Saley and use the code Jolly at checkout for a free. <laughs> That's right up my alley, y'all. Yeah, it's up my alley, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what she likes. No, but the burgers did look good, though. Very tasty. <sighs> I know you couldn't get past like the inside look, but the burger itself, if that's something that you, because a lot of people like their meat like that. That's them. Like, I like my, like, and not burgers. Like, I've never had like a burger that was like that pink. You know what I'm saying? And inside, like a little pink, but not that pink. But I like my steaks. I don't like my steaks super pink, and I don't like them. I like them. A lot and a lot of people think this is criminal, but I like my medium well. Not well done, but I like it medium, just like a little pee. But teach us on. Yeah, like teach if I go to a restaurant, they do ask me like, "Hey, what? How would you like your burger cooked on?" I typically say medium well, like not well done because I don't want to char done, mm -hmm. but medium, medium well. It don't even have to be always medium well, but. Don't give me medium. Yeah. I don't want the pink, but get it like get the pink up out of it and then you can bring it to me. Yeah. Like you ain't gotta I be like a medium rare. And that's I'm, what that was. Yeah, that's that was, what that was. But I'll, I'll just get the pink out of it for me. I'm, I'm not good. gonna knock anyone just because you like one yeah. thing and I like another. But yeah. I'm gonna knock it. But <laughs> hey man, y'all spend most up in the comments. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about do. it in the comment section down below. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go over the name DJ New Kid. This is Sierra. No time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't tell your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partner.